simply testing out some tech and I figured to do so I go through one of those shitty online quizzes Jock Nerd Prep Goth if you don't like it, bugger off High quality, understated luxury goods are a tasteful way of signalling one's success Tasteful? I don't know I don't consider it tasteful at all to signal one's success What? I don't like the concept of success, and I don't know what an understated luxury good is. Good. Can you, can you singular that good? It's definitely going in the negative. I don't know if, if I'll find a stronger negative later, but that feels like a strong negative. I, my tastes, I, I prefer to get rid of brand names. Life is often unpredictable and chaotic, and that is part of what makes it interesting, so they claim. I mean, the first half's true. Um, you, can, you can have a yes, a slight yes. I mean, interesting and not necessarily a good way. Unpredictable and chaotic, and that's part. It's part, yeah. Strongly agree that it's part. Fantasy, science fiction, comic books are a unique perspectives on the world of humanity. See, this is tricking me into being in, into fantasy, science fiction, and comic books. And I'm not really sci-fi a bit, maybe. I dislike the idea of the genre of fantasy being so starred in that European medieval setting. That offers nothing to me. Same with comic books being so linked to superhero ideas. If the medium existed more outside of those, and I know there are examples that are outside of those, then maybe I'd show more interest. But they do offer unique perspectives, but maybe what I've just said about um, how the perspectives can be quite similar holds it back from being the most positive. I feel a strong connection to online communities and forums. I mean, definitely in the long term. I think I have to take that as a yes, at least in the long term. It's not really resonating lately, but I think that's just the post-apocalypse that we're in. Death to the supernatural. I mean, yeah, problematic. Families are sort of pride and support and no. Scum. I think it's scum. Emotional intensity and introspection are important aspects of personal growth. I wouldn't word it exactly that way, but I think that's true. It might be strongly true. Emotional. Yeah, definitely introspection. I don't know exactly what it means about intensity. Traditional male gender, or yeah, I mean, <laughs> where do you think I'm going to go on this one? Hell no. Hell no. Tradition is what holds us back. The darker and more mysterious husbands will have first measure. You know I'm going toward yes on this one. Fascinating. Darker than what? Fascinating and worthy of exploration. It's at least that yes, and I'm thinking about it. And this is dead air, so I'm just clicking next. I often find myself absorbed in hobbies such as video games, coding, or model building. I think that's ultimately a yes. Pain and sacrifice are necessary for- whoa! Um... I mean, again, what, what's this about achieving greatness? Fuck off. Um... No, I... I think that's the kind of capitalist mentality, like, that's how we're tricked into believing that stuff. I know that's maybe a gothic thing that I'd be predisposed to going toward. No, the goths aren't into greatness. Debating and discussing complex ideas and theories is a valuable form of intellectual exercise. Yeah. Physical fitness and competition are a personal growth and development. 
No, definitely not competition. Fuck off. The mentality of competition. We're kind of raised to compete, and it's all a bit can't. We should collaborate more. Physical fitness. The whole thing's going in the bin as far as I'm concerned. Physical fitness obviously has some value. I'm a bit biased because of how far from that I am chronically far from it, and I don't stand a chance. I'm just not well enough for physical fitness. I obviously prefer it to competition, but there's also a lot of a con with what we believe to be physical fitness. I've made those videos about, like, male standards and muscle standards. It's going down there. Gaming offers great opportunities for learning, problem solving, and socialization. It's at least good opportunities. Great. It's at least there. And I'm letting it go there, but, I'm, but you know, if there were in between, I might take a tradition. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good grooming. I mean, maybe I agree that they're crucial for making a good impression, but why make a good impression? So, I feel I, often with these kind of quizzes, I know what it's trying to ask me, but it's not what it's actually asked me. I think I can agree with that statement, but um, I don't mean the agreement with that statement. Clear cut appearances are crucial. They they have a value. It's a thing to to talk about and get to, but I'm not into it. Participating in family community. I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, you've got something in common with um, someone you share tastes with, and it's not necessarily just the surface shallow thing that you've got in common because. Being into the same surface shallow thing is often informed by being into the same depths, or at least implies, involves being into the same depths. Hell yeah. Rejecting, yes. Key aspect, because that, that's literally what being free is. That's almost a tautological sentence. Rejecting norms, personal freedom. Societal norms, personal freedom. That's just exactly there. Winning a... <laughs> Fuck off, Chuck. Mental and physical. No, I really dislike this rhetoric. Toughness, what's, what's that all about? Um, maybe meant. Uh, I mean, it's definitely going red. I might have put it in an in-between if it were there, but it's the red or red. Classic, timeless fashion is always in style. Again, that's asking what's in style, it's not asking what I like, but I think it means to ask what I like, and classic, timeless fashion, that appeals to old norms, like, most of male fashion was invented by that one dandy that you can look up who invented male fashion, because I can't remember, but it's all from the same Victorian, maybe a bit earlier, dude. And it's very much boxed men in. Same thing happens with women, but in a bit more of a creative way. But you got the fucking trad wife stuff there. It, it may be in style to some extent, but hand in hand with fascism, bye bye. Luxury is a core principle when it comes. No, luxury is nice, but. I'd say the definition of luxury involves it not being at the car. It should be uh, removable. Um, it should be at the outside. I'd, I'd like comfort to be at the car. Is comfort a luxury? In this society, maybe, but this is going down here, and I am... <laughs> right down there in the corner. I mean, I'm not exactly surprised, but that is as absolute sit fucking gets so you knew where this was going which direction this was going you didn't know how absolute it was going and when i edit this i don't intend to edit it much but when i top and tail edit this um i'll have some idea of how this tech is doing 
There is my old laptop, which still just about works behind me, rendering a video that I will hopefully publish soon. So you may hear that fan in the distance. You may just about see the screen, not sure. But I'm trying to get used to a new one. I'm not yet entirely convinced, but that's my loss.